Hello everyone. I know it's been... the fuck? I know it's been a long time since I posted a YouTube video. It's frankly because nothing really has been going to plan. I've been trying to build a custom three-wheeler with a lawnmower transmission, broke the transmission again. Uh my truck is basically done besides the AC, but no one wants to watch that. It's good, but there is something that's happening that's actually going well. Oh, my brother got a jet ski. It's nice. The trailer being redone, but I gotta show you something. Old car. As I left off with you last time on this, I got it running. Oh, we got it running again. But this time, Dad's actually wanted to get it on the road. Well, out of here, actually. That's the way to put it. Let's we'll see how this works. But anyway. I have been trying to get to get this running right and get this going well. And it's actually going pretty well. There's still gas in the bowl from last night. And it's got a major vacuum leak right now, but. It still runs. And it's starting to run better than it did before. So, yay. And, frankly, I gotta do some fuel system work. That's from a LeBaron, and it actually fits better than the old one. I might have to cut that hose down more, but. I'm gonna have to cut down that hose more. But it's, the car is getting closer and closer to being out of the barn for the first time. It was probably before I was born. It's been in and out of barns for 16 years. I mean, 26 years. And honestly, I want to get this on the road for my dad. It was the late Father's Day gift of getting this running for him. But I gotta fix that vacuum leak. That vacuum leak is a major. As this car is covered in junk and luckily all four tires aired up, but only one holds air long, over a long time I didn't touch this one. Oh man It doesn't want to roll easy this is gonna be fun. He wants me to get it Take the stuff off of it so I can run the electric pump he rigged into the back and pump gas through Currently going through the trunk found two gr grills one well, the better one is the gray one, but it's also broken. Sad. That's sad. I thought they would still be in great shape being stored inside this trunk, but this trunk's not that clean. But anyway, found a super cool Mallory Ignition sticker. Still with the backing. Might ask Dad if I can put that on something. Nope. Keep this good shape for when I put Mallory Ignition on my car. Because that's a vintage sticker that'll work on my car. Because I'm putting Mallory ignition components. I want a Mallory dual point in my Cougar. And I see the fuel pump you talked about. There's one right there. I gotta hook power up to that. See if I can Zeus any fluids out of this tank. Which I thought that was the... For some reason I thought that was the filler. But that's just the key that's been removed. Which means, I never sucked the gas out of this. There was, I didn't put it in the tank. So, let's see what I can That's find. a find right there. It's a little bobbly, but it actually fits the car. It's running, somewhat.
Yeah, I'm gonna put that carb spacer in it. It doesn't like it. Yay! I'm gonna shut the take it off and stop screwing around with it right now because it's the leaked gas. Nice. The smell of a good old burning engine. Still not even warmed. Ow! Oh, I gotta fix that vacuum leak. <laughs> hey, it's doing good. It's doing good. Pick the time I'm trying to move it by hand and summer and 69 kicks on. Heck yeah! Pressurizing. 
<laughs> I'll start you again. The alternator's not doing its job. Okay. And the part one for the 69 AMX. We're gonna drive out of the barn after plus 24 plus 22, maybe kind of count as 23, 4 plus 23, we'll drive out of the barn after 26 odd years. Tune in later to find out, because once I get back from vacation, I'm going to try and get it out of there. Man, my head hurts.